Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system to do from the user Frenchy Fries on Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending it this simulation in but without further ado let's go ahead and check this out. So if we open it up here, I've already got the workshop bit opened up, right so it should be, where are we here? Let's see, uh, it's all refreshed it since I last opened this, right there we go, so Omega System Finalized, that's it there. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have got here. Right, my first real solar system. Okay, right, so, okay, right. So we're going to close that. Uh, he got a description up in Discord, so I'm going to have to uh, open that up. So without further ado, let's actually uh, head to the star itself. So here is Omega, looking uh, quite similar to the sun with its stats there. If we just open it up. Okay, so similar temperature. The radius looks to be a little smaller. Luminosity a little smaller as well. Uh, where are we? So sun. Yeah, so it's a little, little smaller than some, probably around Alpha Centauri B sort of area there. Right, okay, so there is Omega. Right, on to the first of the planets, so Hell World 1. So I'm just opening up Discord now so we can get the uh, description uh, for all of these guys. This does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, I'm liking it. Hell World, okay. Right, so let's uh, get Discord opened up right here. Okay, so custom simulations, just bear with me. Got to scroll uh, through the chats. We have quite a lot of these systems to get through, but we're making good progress getting through all the queue of all of these. So, whereabouts are we? Okay, right. So, story behind the system. Okay, here we go. I'm opening it up now. Right, so Hell World 1, though. That is looking at pretty awesome stuff. Okay, so, the description. We're actually going to hop to the star quickly. So, there's the star over there. So, Omega. A star similar to our own sun formed in a nebula billions of years ago. Around it was a uh, accretion disk, heavy metals closest to Omega, silicates and larger solids towards the middle, and the lighter gaseous materials at the edge. This uh, accretion disk formed into 12 main planets in the system along with the planet's moons. Okay, excellent. Right, okay. Hell worlds 1 to 4. They're in Roman numerals. Okay. So, uh, these dense iron-rich planets harbour no life. They are all tidally locked to Omega and have extreme temperatures. Yeah, we can see 600 degrees on this one. Uh, there were many collisions in the Hell World region early in the system's formation, hence why none of the Hell Worlds have any moons. Life cannot be sustained on these four inner planets and is deemed by the Hell Worlds, um, by the intelligent life forms of Worlds uh, 1 and 2. Okay, so there is Hell World 1. So there's all of the red trail objects in this. We've got Hell World 1, Hell World 2. Obviously, they're all going to be quite similar in um, appearance. So here is number 2, very, very dark and hot and, yeah, not looking... Uh, too friendly at all so we've got one and two i really like the orbits uh number three again this one's got more of a reddish atmosphere temperature's a little nicer on this one but as we can see it's still not looking uh, very uh, friendly for any hospitable um areas on here so it does look pretty menacing do you like the way that it looks though so? right and then the last hell world was over here so number four this one's looking a little more friendlier than the previous ones but again it's still going to be tightly locked it's going to be very very hot on one of the sides so there is that one there. So Hell World 1 to 4. Okay. Right. So there's four. But apparently there's a fifth one. So Hell World 5 remains. Or remnants. So what has happened here? Okay. So here it is. Okay. It's, oh, well, there's nothing left of it. Right. So uh, remnants. This planet was smashed into pieces in early in the system's making. This region divides the Hell World from the rest of the solar system. The asteroids are iron rich. Um, and will be harvested by the life worlds in the future. Okay, so this is the remnants. And obviously, I'm guessing the asteroid belt is all part of that planet. It's just been shredded up for some reason. Okay, cool. Right, now we're moving on to the life worlds. Okay, I'm really liking the categorization with the colors and stuff. That is really cool. Right, so next up, we got life world one. Oh, I guess this one's looking very nice and friendly. Oh, very, very friendly welcome in blue there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got lights as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Life world 1 to 2. These planets are very similar to Earth. Not extremely iron rich like the inner hell world, but enough to where they have a magnetosphere protecting the planets. Life world's one moon came from an escaped hell world planet. Okay, so this was uh, part of the inner solar system, but it looks like it migrated out. And now it's in a um, orbiting a nice friendly life world 1. Yeah, I'm really, really, really like the appearance of that one. Cool. Right, okay. Um, let's see here. Um, yeah, okay, and um, was captured by Life World 1. Life World 2's... Okay, so, right, so we've done all of Life World 1. So, yeah, that is a, that's a gorgeous looking world there. Really similar to Earth in stats. Uh, we can check its other stats. Yeah, very high life stats as well. And yeah, it's just a gorgeous looking world. A really nice light blue ocean. Got, like, the uh, icy surface appearance. Yeah, I rate it. That's a good looking one. 
definitely a good looking planet uh and then we got um the moon there as well so you have a really nice set of two objects here definitely a thumbs up from me there right life world one uh next up we have got life world two okay well this one looks completely different Ooh, okay right so turn that off again okay so life world two where are we so i'm just trying to work out where we are and there's a lot of text here okay life world two uh moons were formed from the natural process of that creation a long time ago however those two moons got their red and blue colors is still a mystery the life world's inhabitants have fought each other in solar wars in the past but have set aside their differences to conquer the rest of the solar system and finalize the steps to becoming a type 2 civilization for both of the planets right okay so this is obviously the second object and the uh, it's got city lights as well nice dark blue city light color as well obviously the nice blue atmosphere on the sky as well looking good Right, then we've also got the moons, so a red and a blue moon, so it's a mystery why they are different colours like that. Look at that. Well, just looking at this one, my theory would be that this is one of the hell worlds that got migrated outwards. And then maybe the uh, blue moon, maybe that formed around the planet. Who knows? But, yeah, there's that one. Looking good. I'm liking it. So, life world two. Okay, so that's the life worlds. Right. Okay, so we're out of the life area. So next up, we've got the frozen worlds. So, frozen world one. A planet very similar to the life worlds, but simply too far away to be heated by Omega to be permanently habitable. This world is currently being settled by two uh, life worlds. Um, its moon formed through accretion just like the planet or like worlds too did. Uh, microbial extremophiles were found to be living on this planet, shocking some confirming theories for others back in the life worlds. Okay, right. So here it is. It's got a little ring around it as well. I think there was a ring. Yeah, there was a little ring if you look carefully. You can see... Yeah, it's a little ring, hey. All right, so Frozen World 1. As we can see, like it says, very, very frozen. White atmosphere, white surface. Got some darker patches on it as well, um, like Neptune's Moon Triton. Cool. Right, and then uh, Frozen World 1 and Frozen World... Oh, so they're both called Frozen World 1, okay. All right, so there are both of those guys. So there are its moons, right. So next up, we've got Frozen World 2 now. So that's obviously going to be the other light blue trail over here. Okay, so Frozen World 2 is looking a lot different. It's so all alone. Oh, I really like this one. Right. So it's got a, like a purpley, very dark indigo blue purpley atmosphere there. Okay. Right. So this world, Frozen World 2, a small rocky planet in the stretches of the system. Nothing too uh, particular about it. No moons. The two uh, life worlds are looking to colonize it and send some people to the world sometime in the future. Deemed a decent candidate for a good place to live up when a mega evolves into its red giant phase. Okay. Uh, many speculate very, very extreme forms of life exist on this planet, but nothing has been 100% confirmed by anyone yet. Okay, cool. So there's Frozen World 2, right, okay. Looking good. One thing just to point out, that gas world over there, I can see a glow. I wonder what that's all about. Right, so where are we next? So Frozen World 2, next up we got Gas World 1. So that is... Yeah, so Gas World 2 is the one that glows, right, so Gas World 1. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. They've got a lot of moons. Ooh, like nice little moons going with it. Okay. It's a gas world one. Right, so this planet. Um, a gas giant about half the mass of our familiar Jupiter. It has four notable moons, all of which have eccentric or inclined orbits. All of the moons were captured, hence the odd paths they take. Its third moon, gas world uh, moon three, has a minuscule atmosphere. There are no signs of life on these moons, but of course, the life worlds are still studied and observe this mini system. Okay, excellent. So moon three. It's over here. So this one has a slight little atmosphere, apparently. So it's not currently visible, but yeah, there it is. Looking good. Right, so have a look at all of the moons quickly as well. So this is moon four. Looking good. Right, and then lastly, moon one and two over here. Right. So here's moon one. Oh, very interesting dark purpley shade. And then moon two over here. Okay, there it is. Cool. Nice view of the gas giant there as well. So Gas World Moon 2, right. Good, good. Right, next up we have got Frozen World 3. Oh, this one's looking pretty exotic, right. Okay, ooh. Right, so for this world here. A planet that is very similar to the life world, except from its distance to Omega. After the discovery of life on Frozen World 1, the life world took great interest in this planet, even though it's very far away from its star and greatly cold. It's minus 138 degrees here. So, yeah, very, very chilly indeed. Nice red clouds on it as well. Right. Uh, let's see here. So um, this planet um, is seen by uh, Life World 3 um, because of some of its composition and parameters. Very, very exotic forms of molecular life have been found and confirmed by Life World scientists, but obviously nothing multicellular or intelligent. 
deemed the best candidate to be the place when Omega moves into the Red Giant. No Moons has interesting colours. Okay, right. So, now that's the last of the uh, sort of main planets, I guess, around the main star. Because now we're taking a massive jump to whatever is over here. So, Gas World 2. So, what exactly is that glow all about? Gas World Moon 4 is glowing. What is that all about? Right. Okay, this does look pretty cool. That is a good-looking planet. Wow, right. And at this distance from the star, it really does look dark and menacing, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That is a good-looking... That is a really, really good-looking gas giant. I mean, just, just turn all the labels off. I mean, look at that. That does look pretty menacing to me. Yeah, I'm liking it. Right, so... Gas World 2, an extremely large gas giant. So basically it's nine Jupiters in rate. That's a huge, right? Let's get a little comparison with Jupiter itself here. And we can just see. Oh, it's already selected Jupiter for us. That's nice. Jupiter. That's quite big. Let's compare it to um, good old HD 100546B. That's, that's the largest exoplanet. Let's see how big this thing actually is. Yeah, so it's bigger than the largest exoplanet. This thing is enormous. I mean, this thing, this HD 100 is quite a large planet. Let's compare it to, what about the sun? Or, or yeah. Yeah, that's quite big. That's, I mean, it's almost the sun. I mean, it's going to be bigger than Alpha Centauri B. Yeah, it's larger than, I'd say that's probably larger than Alpha Centauri B. Uh, that is 8.61 Jupiter. So, yeah, this is larger than Alpha Centauri B. So, that's the size of, like, an orange dwarf star. So, that is, that's really big. Right, okay, so an extremely large gas giant, 12 times the mass of our Jupiter. Many scientists hypothesize this body is really a brown dwarf. Yeah, I'm not surprised, because that thing is, that is massive. Um, it's a failed star. Actually, if, if we're going to make it, if it's going to be a brown dwarf, why don't we give it a little bit of, we could spice up the temperature a bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe if it's a brown dwarf, maybe it'd look like that. That's just a little sort of uh, upgrade for it, maybe. But yeah, if it's a brown dwarf, maybe, maybe have a little bit of glow to it. But yeah, it does look really cool. Um, right, so... A failed star, it has unique, sinister-looking colours. This massive planet has five moons. Similar to the Gas World 1 satellites, all of them take very odd orbits. All of its moons are theorised to be captured. Its first moon is actually very similar to Frozen World 2. Its fifth and final moon is also like Frozen uh, 3, in a way. Those captured uh, planets are runners-up in life. Astronomers' interest behind Frozen World 3. Right, okay. So, there is the planet. Actually, I just want to heat it up a little bit more and see if it can make it glow. I know the surface, or like the clouds, don't... The planet doesn't physically change, just the glow. Interesting. Huh. But yeah, if, if it's going to be like a little brown dwarf, we'll give it like a tiny little glow. There you go, that's looking pretty cool. Right, so... so I want to see what that moon falls all about. It's glowing, right. So... Oh, these are really bizarre orbits, look at that. Okay, right, yeah. Definitely looking captured to me. Right, gas well to moon. So moon one. Let's turn the labels off. So there's moon one. Okay. All right, next up we got Moon 2 over here. So there's that when you get a nice view of uh, Moon 4 over there as well, the glowing, glowing one. What is that glow all about? I really want to know what that's all about. Right, so Moon 2, Moon 3 is over here. Okay, we'll do Moon 5 next. So there's Moon 3, obviously looking fairly basic. A Moon 5 over here. Looking good. Right, and then lastly, Moon 4. What is going on over here? 7,000 degrees. What has happened? Right. Inch. <laughs> so, looks fairly normal to the other ones, but for some reason it's at 7,000 degrees. Maybe it's not meant to be like that. Maybe it's meant to be just normal. Maybe that glow's not meant to be there, but yeah, it's pretty interesting how it had that glow. But yeah, there we go. So, there is all of the moons. Right, and then he lastly put beyond the system. Uh, no major bodies have been discovered past Gas World 2. So this is the last of the proper objects around the star then. Okay, so Gas World 2, obviously there it is. Looking good. That is a really good looking planet. Really, really like that. So obviously if we look further out, that's it. No, nothing else further than that. Um, let's see here. If you uh, see this and made it this far, hope the read was worth it to you. I plan on making a better, more advanced system in the future. Honestly, that was already pretty, really, pretty well done. Really, really enjoyed that. So... Yeah, I look forward to seeing more systems from you because that was that was really, really good. So again, this was from the user Frenchy Fries um, on Steam. That's his Steam name there. So a massive thank you to him for sending uh, this simulation in. As yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It was nice, easy to digest. Everything is nicely categorized. Really, really like that. I really like the red for the hell world, the green for the life world, the frozen worlds are blue, the gas giant was yellow. Uh, I really, really like that. That's a really, really cool format. And I really, really like the way um, the backstory between all the objects and stuff. Really, really cool. 
big thumbs up for me really really enjoyed it so again a massive thank you to him for sending that simulation in before we finish up let's get a lineup of all the objects like we normally do the gas world is actually larger than the star itself there so oh no 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 it isn't actually it's almost they're, they're, yeah so this is 0.25 jupiters larger than that so they're almost the same size as we can see it's way bigger than gas world one and then i'll see all the rocky planets are all fairly similar in size so there we go best rocky planet is 100 percent this one that is easily the coolest looking one out of them for me but yeah with that all said and done guys a massive thank you for watching today's video if you've got any feedback on the system i'm sure the creator frenchy fries would be interested to hear your thoughts down below in the comments and also if you'd like to send in your own simulations for this series make sure to uh, send them in my discord link in the description for that but with that all said and done like i said make sure you have a great day stay safe out there guys let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video and i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>